Oh yeah, just one, just one. Just one. <laughs> All right, guys. So the median, the median is the middle number. I am recording. Oh. So the middle number. Okay. Middle number. Now, what's the first thing you have to do when you have a set of numbers? Order. You got, you got to put them in order. Put them in order. And then what do you do? You pick the, yeah, pick the middle. Pick the middle. But there's a slight little problem. If there's, go. There might be two in the middle because you have an even amount of numbers. It's okay, call all you want. You have to add them and divide them. Yes, you would have to get the, the, the mean of the middle two. Yes, sir. What's up? The thing is that I can't eat gluten, man, but I appreciate it. You're looking good, though. You've been working out? No, I just been lifting, bro. I'm okay, not, I'm not cutting nothing. He hasn't been lifting. He doesn't lie. We're lifting, bro. What you mean? But he sees me all the time. <laughs> look, look, look. No, nah, but he's big, bro. Man, you should have seen him soft in my ear, bro. Right now, he's peak, peak a coaster look. right there, man. Sheesh. Come on, guys. And I started, I no, shaved my arms, so they're like a little bit crusty, but whatever. Yeah, bro, you're looking good, man. Thank you. Yeah, I know, I know. Everybody tells oh, me that. Wow. I know. I'm serious. <laughs> like, Nobody huh? Today. So what time are you fasting today? Today I'm fasting till about 3.30. 3.30? When was you And I already week? worked out. When was your last one yesterday? I, I ate a four or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we are almost doing 24-hour fasting. Yeah. Bro. Why so much? Bro, look, look, it works. Yeah, I know. It works, but why so much? Why so much? Usually 16. Because... You feel better than that? I'm gonna have to do 16 to get stronger because I'm yeah. kind of weak. <laughs> I think mira, it might be the age. So I'm sick. Oh, yeah, the one that I fed. All right, guys. Care, have you done anything to the engine? Uh, no, we took it to the shop. That's their job. Now. What? At the supercharger, I can put 12 on the wall. Wait, I, I want, what are you driving right now? Because I know software you're driving the Mercury. Yeah, the same with Mercury. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't, you're not building anything right now? Don't need pools. But I will have a I will have a, a, a truck, a work truck with a 351 in it that I had to rebuild. Okay. And I'm gonna use it for the company. So you haven't done anything since the since so the Mustang? Since the Mustang yeah, I haven't done. Kind of like, bro, it's been so long. But I'm gonna get a bike. Okay. So I'm gonna bike. get a bike. I'm a, I know that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. I right, sorry about that. So I won't edit it from the video. Who cares? But I'm serious, like I'm looking good. Like, you can't say it at all. I mean, you can say, oh, you're short. I'm like, bro, come on. Is that the best you could do? You're short. <laughs> all right. So we're putting the numbers in order. We pick the, the middle number, right? And we, we say, and then my handwriting is really ugly. I can fix it. Um, we, we have a bunch of numbers. Yes, yeah, Shayla. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Be careful. Yes, so take care of you too. So when you have an even set of numbers versus when you have an odd set of numbers, okay? If you have even, you have to pick the middle two, uh, the middle two and average it or do the mean and do the mean. Pick the middle two and average it. Now we gotta be careful with that word average, you know? Um, the odd number, you just pick the middle one, pick the middle one. Okay, that's simple. So, so far, so good, right? Nothing new. Right? We're good? Everybody's happy with that? Okay. So, let's just do simple stuff. Like, like I mean, I always... Here's some numbers. They're in order. Are they in order? Yeah. Yes. Who's the median there? Three, three. Obviously, it's three. And now if I did, if I did more numbers, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, what's the median? Yes, you have to take these two, add them and divide by two. Okay, so we know this, all right? Put the numbers in order. If it's odd, pick the middle one. If it's even, pick the middle two 
add them and divide by two. Fair enough? Like it's super simple, super, super simple. Now, can this be more difficult? Yeah. For instance, let's say, let's say I have a, more. Yes. yes, I'll give it to you. So let's say we have a, thank you. So let's say we have a, a frequency distribution like this one. Okay. All right. I hope I came up with some numbers. How would you figure out the median of that? How on earth would you do that? So let me go ahead and add numbers 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 20 um, plus 10 plus 5. Wow, I'm a genius. 70. No, I'm not a genius, but whatever. There's 70 numbers there. So would you write, would you do the following? Would you do one, 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 two, 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 and you write it all out and pick the middle one or the middle two and add them and divide by two? Or would you figure something out to figure out where the, just think about it for a second. All right, if you have 70 numbers, who are gonna be the middle two numbers? Here's a secret. What's 70 divided by two? 35. So the 35th number and the 36th number will be your middle two number. So if you have 10 numbers, is that even or odd? It's even. What's 10 divided by two? The fifth number and the sixth number, add them and divide by two. You have 100 numbers. Is that even or odd? So we're gonna have to find the middle two. What's 100 divided by two? So it's gonna be the 50th number and the 51st number, add those two and divide by two. So in this case, we're gonna have need the 35th number and the 36th number, and we're gonna to have to add them and divide by two. But who on earth are they? Well, we have something called commutative frequency. And then for the first, for the first random variable x of one, or whatever you want to call that, you have 10, but then the next will be 24, right? Sorry, 22. What's 10? What's 10 plus 12? So 10, 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 plus 13. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a, so the 35th number will be what number? Three. So who's the 36th number going to be? Four. So your, your, your median here is going to be what? 3.5. Because you're going to have to have 3 plus 4 divided by 2. Does that make sense? Sometimes you get lucky, and it just would be 3 because it would be 3 plus 3 divided by 2 because it would have been like stuck in between there somewhere. But you saw that, right? And just for fun, let's just go ahead and continue creating the um, commutative frequency. This will be 55, right? This will be 65. And this would be seven. That's how you create a commutative frequency. So in that case, it was easy. So just to recap a little bit, we're going to use a commutative frequency to figure out the median usually when we have a frequency distribution or a group frequency distribution. In the case of a group frequency distribution, we'd be estimating the median, not finding the median. We'll be estimating it because we lose information of the original data from there. And if you have an even set of numbers to figure out the middle two who they would be you just take n divided by two and n divided by two plus one what does that mean if you have a hundred numbers a hundred divided by two is 50 and then 50 plus one is 51 so it'll be the 50th and 51st number right another example if you if you have 30 numbers 30 divided by two is 15. So it's the 15th and the 16th. Got it? Now, if you had an odd set of numbers, the rule is very simple. It's just one number, right? So how do we figure out 
the, the number that you need to be. Let's say you have five numbers. So let's say n is five and is odd. So the rule is n plus one divided by two. So if n equals to five, let's say, you do five plus one divided by two. What's that come out to? It's the third number. If you have 99 numbers, who's the middle number? Well, it's 99 plus one divided by two. That's 100 divided by two, which is 50. Does that make sense? Are we clear? All right, so that's 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 it for for. Uh, how did you so the median would be thirteen, and then the median the median would actually be well the thirty fifth number here. Yeah, would be will be three. Oh, okay. You see that, and then the 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 thirty six number has to begin with four, because we have four happening fifty five times. Okay. Does that make sense? Because here we have. Think about it. The, what that what that distribution there tells you is tells you one 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 two three four five six seven eight nine ten, and then it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve, and then you have. Do you see? Yes. So the like TF is the ending of. Yes, it's a running total. Correct. And it just happens to be that I picked a number where the where the 35 is a three and then it became 36. Because so sometimes when you do this, you just end up saying, well, the 35th one is three and the 36th one would have been three, depending on what numbers you pick. And then it would be 3.5 in that case. Because you had to do three plus four divided by two. Then you do three plus three, it's just six divided by two is three. Yes. Um, this book is not like that. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's go. All right. So now we're going to talk about the mean. And, and you guys know what the mean is. The mean is, look, the median is an average. So is the mean. But the mean takes into account all the numbers together. So the mean is is defined like this in this book. What letter they use? They use X bar. So X bar equals the sum of X divided by N. Means take all the numbers, add them up together. Yes. Like I can go there now, but the sum of X divided by N. So you add up all the numbers and divide by a total amount of numbers. How can I help you? <laughs> You want to get another bagel? No. <laughs> What's wrong with a bagel? It's what? Just take the hair no, off. No, no, I don't want to eat them. <laughs> Where's the hair? It's in here. Oh, and the cream. Where is it? <laughs> Mama, just take it off. Okay, go. Yes. Um, there's. I don't have one. But I thought there was one there, but they, I guess somebody picked it up. Okay, so the mean is add up all the numbers and divide by the total amount of numbers. So you know how to do that. Um, they like to make a big deal about the summation notation and some of the work. I've, I've hardly ever seen it on any of the release tests, but just to, just to reiterate, the sum of X, usually we say I equals to one to N equals and we write an I there is X of one plus X of two plus da 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 all the way to X of N. All right. This is the sum of X. All right. The summation notation is what's used there. So we usually don't write all that nonsense. Okay. But we'll go over it. I mean, I probably won't do it in lecture. I'll probably let you discover it in homework and come and ask me questions. I think it's the best thing to do. Now, in the previous example I gave you here, I gave you a chart of frequency distribution. I'll just rewrite it here. But instead of asking you to calculate the, uh, the median, I am going to ask you to calculate the mean. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here's a frequency distribution. 
and you got to figure out the mean. Now, obviously, if I gave you a bunch of numbers, you just add them up together and divide by the total. But if I give you this, how would you do the mean? Yeah. Well, okay, how many times? So here's what you do. You go, how many times does one happen? Plus how many times does two happen? Plus how many times does three happen? Plus how many times does four happen? Plus how many times does five happen? Plus how many times does six happen? And then how many times does everything else happen? It happens 70 times, right? Because everything together was 70 numbers. Don't you agree? So it's the same thing. Now, I know in, in, in many books, they just, you know, they make a different formula for it and stuff like that, but it's all the same thing. Your X bar here would just be the sum of all the numbers divided by a total. It's just the frequency tells you what it is. And you would do that math, which is trivial. So, what if you have a group frequency distribution? What if, what if, what if you have classes here and you have a frequency here and you have from, oh, whatever, one, five, uh, five plus four, nine, 13. It's Friday, Friday. We gotta get down on Friday. The first number one? Yeah, that's that's a one. Uno, okay. numero uno. Three, seven, ten, and twelve. Let's say I ask you to find the mean for that. Okay. How would you find it? What number? Well, how many times does one through four happen? But which one? Was it one? Was it two? Was it three? Which one? Was it four? All of them. All of them. But no, we don't. Oh. We don't know because we don't have access to the original data. So what do we do? We pick the midpoint. We pick the middle number. We take one plus four and divide it by two. That's 2.5. And then you take five plus eight and divide that by two. Five plus eight is 13. Divided by two is 6.5. Right? And then... The next one's going to be 10.5. And next one's going to be 14.5. And now you do the same thing. You say, how many times does 2.5 happen? Three times. How many times does 6.5 happen? Seven times. How many times does 10.5 uh, happen? Ten times. How many times does 14.5 happen? Oh, well, that's 12 times. All this divided by the total. The key here was realizing that we didn't know how many times one, two, three, or four happened, or five, six, six, seven, eight. We just knew that between one and four, that happened three times, including one and four. So what we say is like, okay, I don't have access to the original data. I don't have access to the original data. So I'm just gonna say, 2.5, the one in the middle is what we'll pick to represent it. So in this case, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really doing something. I'm estimating. I'm making an estimate based on the limited amount of data I have because I lost the individuality of the original data. See, in this case here, all the data was conserved. In that case there, all the data was conserved. But in, in, in this case with the group frequency distribution, so this is a frequency distribution. Distribution. This other one is also frequency distribution, but because it has classes, we just call it a grouped frequency distribution. Okay. So that is me. Well, if you listen to the video at the same time.
Yeah. You ramble, so yeah. Okay. I have to skip a little bit of the video because it's really that part. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. I don't take anything personally. None of us is perfect. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can you imagine him falling off the cart? We hear a thud. All right, so we good? Yes. I hope, uh, you know, obviously the questions in the book are more difficult, but whatever. So just, just to let you know, and I think I should put it up here in blue. So we have the mean, and when we deal with a frequency distribution, I guess you could say the mean of a frequency distribution looks like this. Okay. Now they have this little little formula here, which which I I kind of you know like and at the same time don't like. They say that the mean can also be equal to the sum of x minus a divided by m plus a, which is super weird. Like it's like why? But you'll see that they love this type of question. Um, and it's a giveaway question in the homework. But I don't see it anywhere until number nine. So that'll be one of your questions for homework. And I, I want you to try it to see if you understand what it is. OK. And I, I guess that's the best way to explore this formula. Because you can rewrite this formula as the sum of x plus a divided by n minus a. But you would have to understand it. And I don't want to go into that right now. I just want to keep it simple. But you're going to see it in the homework. I'll make sure you get that question. Thank you. I know I'm nice. Yay. Is that even a good thing? Okay. OK, so. Um, the thing is that I would have to make up my own question, uh -huh. and you don't want to be a it's not that. It's just the thing is that we use questions; they gotta make sense. So, in order for me to make up a question, I gotta make sure the numbers add up, and it's better just to make the book has one that works, and I, I'll teach it through the through that. Does that make sense? Because then I, I will literally take a few minutes here thinking about okay, what's a good question that makes sense. And that the add up, numbers add up. It's okay, we can wait. No, we can wait. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll, if I have time, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is the mode. And, and the mode, the mode is simply the number that repeats the most. Okay. Now, hello, how can I help you? Uh, what class? Class you want next year. You want AP stats? Fair. Okay. Fine. AP stats it is. I get that you're right with you. Huh? I write with you for a second. Um well, good luck. Uh, but you, you gotta be ready to study. Like every day, forever and ever. And ever. Mm -hmm. I think it's always with my right leg. I leave with my right leg. Because you're lefty. Yeah. We've been doing an experiment in English where lefties start with their left leg, but they lean on their right. Let me see. I'm trying not to think about it, so let me see. Walk to the bathroom and walk back. Oh, I led with my left. I want to keep it. Oh, I got you. No, it feels weird with the right. Wait, what happened? Left-handed people with their left I, leg. Wait, they what? Try. If you're left-handed, you walk with your always, left leg. If you're right-handed, you walk with your right leg. Always, so you walk with both. Always, you start walking with one leg. I always, always want to lean on my right. That's what it feels like. But I feel like I, I so let's say let's say I get up. What? I so let me think. Not. I want to go that way. 
that sort of. I want to go that way. Did I give you a midlife crisis? When I go straight. When I go straight. Which way I go? I want to go on my right. And you're left-handed. You want to yeah. go with your right. You want to go with your left. I want to go on my right. That's your. Left. Okay, then why did you start walking with your left? <laughs> are you confused are you confusing yourself all right just watch it when i'm doing it because right now when you're consciously doing it you're not sure what you're doing so when you get up i call you oh my god of course <laughs> why can't the book just float in the air that's not your not space very far <laughs> Yeah, you know, I haven't been able to. Uh... All right, so mode. Mode is the number that happens the most. In other words, it's the peak of your data set. So mode is the most. Okay, just think about the most. But however, sometimes you have, sometimes you have like, look, tell me the mode here. Do we have a mode? No mode. What about, what about now? Do I have a mode? Yeah. What's the mode? Yeah. How about how about now? Wait. How about now? No. Yes, you do. We say okay. it's two and three. Those are the modes. Those will be the peaks of the data. Oh, so we can have more than one mode. Yes, we could have more than one mode. In this case, in this case, and I'll write here mode here. We have no mode. We have two, and then we have three. How about now? How about I go like this? How many modes do I have? No mode. Why? It's a trick. So the reason you don't have a mode is because it's because all of them are equally oh. <laughs> are equally the same. So yeah, so um, only it, when there's like a peak, basically. Where you have your peaks, the highest points, and so obviously, I mean, you would say, well, well, one, two, the the last one you just did, it's almost like that. I mean, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to tell you. If they all repeat the same amount of times, there's no mode. If one of them wins out, that's the mode. If multiple of them are tied in first place for the maximum amount of numbers, that's also fine too. Okay? You, you can have multiple modes. Okay? Wait, but I don't get why the third one is three. Isn't it two and three? Oh, yeah, two and three. Hmm. Yeah, so I said it verbally. Didn't I? Yes. So if it's all the same, like symmetrical, then it's a mode. Correct. Just remember that. That's like a little trick. Now, I'm gonna do something right here. Oh. So let's talk about another thing that you could have a mode as. Um, Okay, this is not interesting, but whatever. Let's say you have a survey in this class and about what's your political affiliation and like three of you Republicans, uh, Democrats are the rest of you, nine of you. Oh, but then we have a few independents. It has the rest of oh yeah, I should, I, I didn't add up to 21. We have 21, so nine. Oh, let's, let's do a little bit more. It's, it's less. And then we have a few communists in class. <laughs> Borderline Democrats, but whatever. Um, nine plus three is 12. So I'm serious. We can replace the word Democrat with communist. No, oh, no, no. Let's be nice. Okay. So talk to me. What would be the modal class there? What would be the mode there? Why? Because. There isn't a number repeat. Yes, it is. Yeah. How many times does R repeat? Oh, how many times does D repeat? How many times does I do you see what I'm saying? Oh so it's Democrat. It's Democrat. In this case, it wouldn't be a number, it would be a category. Oh, so you say Democrat. You would say no, you would you it, nine doesn't repeat. There's no numbers there, right? Are there any numbers there? Ah, that's what I want you to see. Okay. You're welcome. Did you get another cream cheese? <laughs> What's wrong? They're not going to have hair, right? 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So in this case, Democrat is the mode class. Right? Oh. Why is that saying that does not say that? That is a Q. I N D Q. And the Democrat is one of the best Democrats. She's just like independent. You can clearly tell which one she does not. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because communist is legible. <laughs> <laughs> the communist is legible. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. In your lifetime, you'll see your political views shift a lot. So. You want to talk about this stuff? Oh, you rather talk about math? What do you rather talk about? No, we got finished math. Oh. Okay, so now let's continue. You get food? I'll be back, okay? Okay, so I, we're done with chapter two. We're done with chapter two. So here's. It's, it's a lot easier, but at the same time, so the pace is well. The pace, the pure math kind of just a lot. This is like the beginning of the regular stuff. Yeah. So here's what we do. Next class we do spread, and in the class after, it was the worst section of the book of probability. We're sort of done, but before is. Sorry for the interruption. No worries. Yes. Alexa, I will let me Okay, Alexa, Thank you. get that get that book. I know you wanted a book, so here, but like, there's a book, but um, yeah, can you go to, to my thing? There's a little bit of log and put your name in there. Oh, so just, it's, it's there on my desktop. So just push them aside. And you, don't, you don't have to be mean to them though. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, like a, yeah, go to the desktop. No, that, that's the cool one. All right, so you just go, you'll see it on the desktop. There's going to be a log file. So there, you, you'll find this move that. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to, I want to look at the questions I want to assign you. And I think you should start them in class. Yes, we're very soon we're going to go into probability. Uh, yeah, uh, not oh, it's, uh, it's called just log something, log, and it's like towards you, like you can't miss it, but maybe you can miss it. Who knows? It's ace that's look log, log. <laughs> and just put your name in the book. Number. All right, guys, um. So I'm going to assign you some problems from the book. Yes. Uh, get it and put, put it over there in the log. Yes. Okay, I'm going to grade it for you and then give you the other one right now. Yes. <laughs> Did it say Jimmy Acosta on it? Okay. That's not even one. Yeah, A12 or A12. All right, so your first problem for homework would be I'm going to start page 26. I'll put it on Teams. Um, yes, number seven. And um, yes, and number eight. And then for the next page, which is the, the page I'm mostly interested in, is page 30. And it's going to be problems four, six. Have a, have a great day. Be careful. Don't die. No, don't die. <laughs> Number nine. And that's it. I'm happy with that. So, so far, five questions. And then the, the mode one, the mode, the mode is easy. It's the one who happens the most. I want you to do it because I want you to expose yourself to it. Yes. If you put the other one on teams too, yes. he did put one on teams. He didn't know he was like supposed to upload another pair of notes, but he never got it. Yeah, I never got it. I never did it. 
Yes. You're asked, oh. can you post the notes? Oh, okay. And what did you say? You responded with like, you said the weird thing on oh, yeah. TikTok. It, it, it made no sense. sense. What did I say? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> hold on, hold on. If, I, if, I, if it opens, because you have horrendous Wi Fi in this classroom. Yeah, this is the worst classroom for Wi-Fi in school. So I'm gonna see the worst. Really? The homework. Can you this is horrible. Give me credit for it. What happened? Say again. That you wrote 